Hi, aloha, and welcome to the Empowered Empath Podcast. My name is Jennifer O'Neill. And I'm Michelle Schneider, giving you a friendly reminder that if you like today's content, please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, and or comments. We've been getting a lot of comments. I've been liking that. Lots of empath comments, lots of like, I'm a moon child, uh, star seed, all the comments. Love the comments. Yeah. So today we're going to do an update on the energy report. And I am walking around before we do this and I'm like, my God, we just did the energy report last week and now I have to do an update on it. And I'm like, oh man, what in the world? You clearly are navigating it pretty well, it seems to yeah. me. I it's feel like there's a lot of um, well, just a little bit of stress and with like the decision makings of yes. the things that are going on in my life. But overall, no complaints here. OK, good for you. Um, <laughs> good for you. Uh, no, but there's some things that I felt like are enough causing enough ruckus in the energy field, in the energy waves uh, that we're feeling that a lot of people are feeling that it warranted an energy update for July and that will possibly be moving into August. I do not believe that this might end in July. I believe that this might go a little bit longer. Um, just to keep in mind to your point, I feel that people should not think, Oh my God, if I'm not having these things, then I'm not, you know, an empath or psychic or, you know, sensitive to the energy or whatever. That's not true at all. All people are not going to feel that they are experiencing all the things of an energy report. That's not why, why we do these. So if you are like you, Michelle, however, I do know that just prior to us talking about this, you do match some of the things that are going on, right? Yes. What would yeah. you say? Is it like a frequency thing, like uh, per person that whether you experience something or what's your insight on, on that of like, why well, would somebody experience something and someone might not? Know. I love that question. It would be similar to if everybody's a Scorpio or a Virgo or Leo or whatever, um, Leos are going to be coming up, right? Cancers yeah. this year or yeah. month. Uh, yeah. Not all of them are going to experience the things that are on their forecast chart, right? They're not, every cancer is not going to feel all the exact same things. Every Leo is not going to feel all the exact same things. There may be aspects that you pull from within that chart, and that's going to be based on a lot of factors. It's going to be based on um, balance, choices that you've made, how in tune you are, but also some of the things that you're going through in your life, because you might have somebody who's in their early 20s that doesn't have any children or in their early 20s that does have children and they're married and they're moving. You know what I mean? They're, they're going to have different lifestyles. They're going to have different components that they're going to be affected by more so than other components that they're going to be affected by. You might have a male or a female that has very similar qualities. They might even be in a relationship that they might also experience things differently. The other thing is mindset and personal energetic. I don't, I hate using this word, but I keep using this word energetic traumas or what I would call um, energetic, energetic hot points in your chart. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, but those things are going to be different for everybody because it's going to pertain to other lifetimes and past experiences, parents, ways that you grew up. So we're all unique individuals. We're not carbon copy individuals and we're not carbon copy signs of individuals. We're not carbon copy uh, gifted individuals. We all have a lot that makes us unique to who we are on a spiritual level. And that is why that some people are more affected by some things than they are others. 
There's different types of skin types out there. Some sunburn very easily. Some do not. Some are very sensitive to detergents. Some can, you know, wash themselves in all kinds of weird chemicals and they're fine. <laughs> right? So, you know, we're, it's just has to do more with that uh, component of being individual, having different parts of our makeup, that sort of thing. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's more of like, hey, when these things pop up, it's like they're popping up for enough people that it's good to call out and just be like, hey, if you're experiencing this, this is why. But you oh, might yeah. not. So. Right. Exactly. Well, now, to be fair, um, I think that there's enough going on with this energy right now that I think most people, my guess would be, is going to resonate with some parts of this. It's just definitely you're going to be tailoring it to your specific situation and going, oh, that makes sense, or I get it now, that type of thing. Um, that's why I wanted to do the energy report, because I know that me and one of my colleagues talked about this this morning, and people's, oh my, oh my goodness, I was trying to not say swear words or anything, but um, it's like every, the sky is falling for a lot of people, so, you know, things are happening. And then you have other people that are like, oh, I'm navigating this. Okay. But I feel like there's enough going on to just be aware of it because a lot of roller coastery stuff, as you know, like highs yeah. and lows, ups and downs. Yeah. Really, really roller coaster energy for July and August, very highs, ups, downs, highs, lows, ups, downs. It's a lot of roller coastery energy. And I've just felt yeah. that in the past couple of days. I even. You just felt that yeah. this morning. Yeah, <laughs> correct. <laughs> so, um, yeah, from this morning till now. So that being said, see there you follow along the lines of the roller coastery stuff. But it is good when you're having the lows to know that there's quickly good. The good news is you'll quickly have probably a higher point shortly after. It could be in five minutes. <laughs> could be tomorrow. But we're not staying um, kind of uh, plateaued very much through July and August. So that's something that can feel like, oh, hang on, hang on for the ride. But then we can understand that that's what's happening with the energy. And then we don't have like emotional highs and lows, you know, with it. We're not like extremely all over the place because that's just exhausting, frankly, yeah. just straight up exhausting. So what I want to talk about is there is a lot of past energy influences that really started this week. And I would say literally just this week, like really probably Monday. Like it's, it's a lot of past energy influences. There was probably, there will probably be a lot of things in people's charts where they're talking about karmic energy, past life energy, but not just that type of energy influence. We're also talking about, um, this lifetime. We're talking about Again, I need a better word for this, but past uh, trauma energy or past PTSD energy points in your chart. So let me explain that a little bit so that people can understand why I use the word um, points and traumas, which I have to rid. So if you come up with another name for that, let me know. <laughs> um, emotional overwhelm? I don't know. So anyways, there are points within your lifetime in this lifetime and other lifetimes that you will have a sense of overwhelm of a situation, an experience, an event of things of that nature that become poignant on your energetic chart and or your birth chart because you haven't been able to balance the energy. And what, what that means is if you cannot balance the energy of points in your past, past life, things of that nature. If you cannot balance the energy, that energy stays in your current frequency. But when it stays in your current frequency, that frequency that it holds reads different. So how I would explain that to somebody, if I'm looking at your energy field, if you have any trauma points in there, I will find feel sections within your energetic field 
that feel different. It's almost like they're coded differently. The frequency has a different note to it. It has a different coding to it. And that holds information, okay? And when I do healing work, I feel like this is kind of important. These are points that I look for as well. Most physical, mental, and even anxiety issues will stem from these points that are energetic discord. That might be a good word to use. These trauma points that are coded differently, that have a different note to it than the rest of the body. And th those are what I look for when I'm working with a client, because we need to balance that energy in order for that frequency to then adjust to, to a higher frequency and flow properly. When it is not adjusted to a higher frequency and flowing properly, it sticks within your energy field and it causes blockages. It causes energetic abnormality. And when you have energetic abnormality, the way that the body then reacts, spiritual body, emotional body, physical body, is that frequency is transferred to physicality. And when it's transferred to physicality, it then adjusts the frequency to actual cells and it tells the body to operate differently. And this is where we have physical issues occur. So this is why it's also very important, not just for mental health and anxiety and things of that nature, but just also for physical health and purely because of the uncomfortableness of having these things happen. The good news is when we experience this type of energy wave, this type of um, energy update that I'm doing, it gives us the opportunity to find those points within our history uh, without having a physical ailment happen from it or something more major that we would not want to develop. It gives us an insight into where we need to balance some energy so that it doesn't transfer and stay there long enough that it develops into an energetic problem, therefore a physical or um, spiritual problem as well. And so the good news is you get to look for those for the next month. <laughs> you get to look and notice where those points are. The bad news is you get to look and notice where those points are. So there's good and bad. I mean, it. as long as it's a gentle nudge of like pointing out, hey, you should take a look at that. I'm here for that all day. I feel like, you know, there's things that have been pointed out to me where I'm like, okay, adjust my mindset. As long as I'm not going back into full blown panic attacks and anxiety. Right. Well, I don't think that yours will do that because first yeah. of all, you've balanced that. And see, that's the difference. Literally the difference. You've been working through and balancing those points for several months now. Yeah. And that is a good point that you brought up because that was very traumatic for you yeah. to work through those, those discorded parts in your life. And you've worked very hard on balancing those and you've got to a balance point. That's the difference. So you're not going to feel a pressure point in the past energy influences right now. You've done your work, you've worked on that. Yeah. So that what happens when we've done our work and we worked on that and they're no longer stuck within our energy field causing any blockages or pain points or pressure points, then the energy again equalizes, it adjusts to a higher frequency. There's no longer an issue. It start it dissipates, we're, we're good to go. And this is why, which hopefully those who are interested in this subject will continue to tune in because there's going to be a lot on this in my third book. Keep talking about the first, the other two coming out and third book. Actually, that's like my ninth or 10th book, but <clears throat> the next one I'm writing on. Was my third health. book this year? Yeah, this year. <laughs> okay. So there's going to be a lot more info on that. If you're interested in this at all, you definitely will need to watch for that. That being said, for those of us 
or you who have not balanced areas, this is when you're going to notice some of those things coming up as a gentle reminder. <laughs> you haven't balanced this yet. So you may want to revisit it. And then you're going to be like, oh, geez. Now, how that is coming up for some people or a lot of people is anxiety will start to be part of a, hey, by the way, you haven't addressed this. And then if you continue to ignore, it will get more severe in that sense. And then you're going to have to be like, all right, now we have to revisit this. So there's some easy stuff you can do and some tough stuff you can do with this. Because you will have to pick apart where is this stemming from. But I'm going to give you a starting point of what a lot of people are struggling with right now. Because we have been talking about interpersonal relationships and the fieriness of all that. And that's that's happening. So you should have had that in the first part of the energy report. If you haven't, you can go back and watch that. Um, money is another thing that is coming up for a lot of people right now. How am I going to pay this? I have this extra bill to cover. How did this just happen? Everything felt balanced. Now it's not balanced. I felt like I was getting ahead. Now I feel like this job fell through or this fell through or, um, you know, I don't know. You have to pay for something extra, have an extra bill or something of that, that um, along those lines. That's something that is really coming up for a lot of people. It is not necessarily pertaining to your current situation, however. And this is something that I just want to make sure that we're addressing and talking about because. If something like this is coming up, I want you to take a moment to really get to the root of, is this really that big of an issue for me? If it's money related, for example, can I really, can I afford this? Can I really uh, address this? Is this really that big a problem? Am I really going to go into bankruptcy? Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Because What's happening with the energy right now is we're pivoting to a new financial landscape energetically. And when we start to pivot from one energetic landscape to another energetic landscape, and how that's going to look from my end of things is we're pivoting from a lower frequency standpoint energetically landscape wise with money. We're pivoting from that to a higher frequency standpoint that regards money. So the energetic landscape is going to start shifting in a lot of people's lives. That's fantastic because that means for 2024 and into 2025, there is a lot of opportunity financial wise coming your way absolutely things will grow. There'll be opportunities. A lot of cool stuff will be happening. If you do not pivot from this lower vibrational frequency mindset that is surrounding money right now, you will have a hard time receiving opportunities, receiving new income. You will essentially cause yourself a blockage within your money house. And July is the pivot point for that. We have some pivoting going on in August, but July is a major money pivot point when it comes to reworking energy on a frequency landscape. And so for a lot of people, they are going to find themselves all of a sudden out of nowhere going, can I afford this? I don't want to spend this money. See, you had this happen. You yeah. said you didn't have this happen, but you literally just had this happen. Yeah. Did you not? Before I get into that, I want you to give your example so that people can relate to what that meant in your life. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've been driving a 14 year old car around, which no longer really has air conditioning. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's some fluid leaks. There's things wrong with it. I mean, it's drivable, but. I'm like, I, I really need a new car. And of course, you know, the car is paid off and it's, I don't want to, I don't want a car payment. I don't want to add a car payment. And so it's like, can I afford this? You know, went out, test drove a bunch of cars, 
fell in love with a car that was maybe a little bit more than I wanted to pay. And yeah, so and to be this started last week, correct? Yes. Okay. Last week. And so I finally find the one that I want. And it's been a roller coaster of emotions because after all the research that I've done, it is the fastest selling model currently in the United States. They can't even get them on the lot before they sell them. And so I was all pumped up. I was going to get the car. And then I get a text message saying, hey, somebody else got it. So it was now like, I have to cut into you there. I have to. Because yeah. me and you had a conversation where she was not all pumped up, people. She was sort of having a little bit of a mental meltdown on if she could afford it. Now, if you True. knew how Michelle does her finances, <laughs> it was literally laughable. It's like, are you kidding me right now? Let me like, give some backstory. Okay. <laughs> I I grew up in a family. It's like nobody in my family has ever bought yes. a new car. Yes. And so I am literally the first person who is going to go buy a brand new car. And mm -hmm. it's just, that's just some, some heavy energy. That's just kind of like, but that's my point. Yes. This is exactly, I love this, that this just happened. <laughs> no, I don't necessarily. Well, I do because it turned out good. Um, which I'll let you finish the story in a minute, but I need to be poignant on this. That's my point for those of us I am one of those people as well that grew up very poor or not having a healthy money mindset because, you know, you're worried about eating or your parents are worried about paying bills or you're literally have no food and people are struggling financially. I have found that a lot of my clients have grown up that way. It's, it's not uncommon. Now, the difference is some of those clients balance that okay. And they go, you know what? I'm totally different. I make money. I will never not make money. Like I feel abundant. I can pull in everything that I need to pull in. And they didn't allow that energy to stick with them and adjust their current vibration regarding money, which then changes their money house, right? So while myself and you have become very productive adults, like extremely productive in business. And we clearly have an abundance of money flow. If you are like me and, and Michelle, and you grew up in a way that you haven't quite balanced the energy of your money house and allowed that frequency to move out of your current state, You've let it go. You've reframed your mindset. You have realized you will never be that person as an adult who you were in your childhood, that your circumstances are different. Your ability to pull in money is different. Everything is entirely different. Until you really believe that within your frequency, your frequency will stay in discord as far as money and money energy goes. So we need to adjust that frequency by adjusting our mindset and releasing past energy influences and recognizing that those don't belong to us in our current life at this moment, today, this hour, this minute, this time, this age in our life. It doesn't belong here. It belonged back there. Now, again, I'm going to let you finish, but I want to continue before I lose my train of thought. Go for it. What people don't realize is this is an interdimensional situation. Because, again, just like I'm doing working with healing clients, everybody thinks the past is the past. Interdimensionally, it doesn't work that way. Your past five years ago, 10 years ago, five minutes ago, when you were a baby, I don't care when the heck it was, is in your current frequency at this very moment in time. It doesn't leave your current frequency. It's in a different dimensional time space. It doesn't leave your frequency. Your future is in a different dimensional time space. It also does not leave your frequency. The reason that that is very important 
is because if we move to tomorrow and the next day and the next five minutes or the next 10 years, whatever, if we move forward in our current frequency of all these interlayered dimensional time and space values or things, we will move forward in the same space, creating the same thing over and over again, which then you could relate to manifestation, law of attraction, law of abundance, any of those things, right? So people don't realize, they think in their brain, because their brain's compartmentalized. Oh, that was a long time ago. It doesn't pertain to me now. It doesn't have anything to do with me. But your frequency is like, yes, it is. I'm you and it's now. What are you talking about? There's no separation in your frequency. So even though you can compartmentalize it in your brain, you cannot compartmentalize it in your frequency. There has to be a point to where you recognize in your brain, actually, um, that this doesn't belong in my current time space reality. It just doesn't belong here. This belongs in a different interdimensional space. And truthfully, I'm going to release that because that also doesn't have any in any business being here in the now where I'm at currently. And for those of you who are in my live spiritual coaching, I have a class coming up this week where we're actually going to be doing a meditation on that. And we're going to be working on clearing that for you and to help you balance that energy. And so um, you can find that either on Empath University and Joining My Life Coaching, or you can download the app for those of you who have Android. Um, it will be out soon. It probably will not be out this week. But for those of you who want to do it, the other thing I have to point out before I forget is when you join the app to be in the live coaching you have to join up for the membership portion, not the free portion. There's an actual membership and then we do those types of things. But so you've had um, in your current frequency, you have pulled in that energy. So continue. Yeah. So I've been really sort of struggling with that, that fear of, you know, money just because of the way that it grew up and just knowing that this car was just a little bit more than I had intended or was hoping to spend. Mm -hmm. So I'm on this roller coaster of emotions. I decide I, you know, I would like to move forward with the car. The car gets sold. And then <laughs> I am just back to square one. And I'm like, but I really want this car. The thing about this car is every other model like it was like three to four thousand dollars more in the area. And so now I was mentally preparing myself. Okay, if you really want this car, you're gonna have to spend even a little more than you thought you were going to. Mm -hmm. so Which all you were already on the fence about. <laughs> yes. or some, right. Okay. So all day today. And I really did have this feeling. I really did. I just could feel, I felt like I was going to get a car today. And I would even, there were all kinds of things that were happening. I'd right. get messages and I'd be like, Ooh, maybe this is it. Nothing. So I'm mentally preparing myself. And then finally, at the end of the day, I get a notification. The guy's like, Hey, the people decided they wanted an SUV. Would you still want the other car? And I'm like, yes, immediately. Yes. Now I feel like I'm getting a bargain. <laughs> yes. That would be a good way of reframing. So yeah. Now I feel more than okay about spending what I'm going to spend because of all of the research and knowledge that I have. And so I right. finally feel like I've, you know, maybe I haven't worked through every single issue, but I feel better Right. And that's all we need to do is we're trying to feel better about where we're at today. You don't need to necessarily go back and work through every single thing as a child. But what I wanted to do this podcast on is talking about the past energy influences, because when we get to pivot points in the year, there will be nudges, if you will, from the universe to say, hey, um, we need to do some energetic cleanup, energetic maintenance here. So here you go. You need to work through this. And we get opportunities to work through and reframe things like you did. And that's really the point when these things come up. So there's, like I said, good and bad. The bad is we have the panic. We have the work through. We have the work around. We have the mindset issue that we clearly have to resolve. The good news is we have opportunity to resolve it. And when you're really tuned in to spirit and working with your spiritual self and your spiritual body, which we'll be doing a podcast on this uh, soon. So you want to watch for that, a spiritual body podcast. 
Um, we allow ourselves opportunity by being connected and allowing flow to happen to where we can get opportunities such as you got to show that. I have something very similar, which is I was really mad about paying health insurance. <laughs> And it just, this is a different, another month than now, but, um, I was just really irritated about it. I'm, uh, it keeps going up. Like this is, I, I just feel like it's just wasting money and I know I need to have the health insurance. So I'm like, maybe I need to revisit this and download or downgrade my package. And I was like, kind of talking to the universe going, I just want to feel appreciative of all the money that I pay towards the health insurance payment. Like, how can I reframe my mindset around this? I literally had this conversation with the universe. I do that. So I'm like having this conversation. I'm just like, whatever. So I redo it. And when we redo it, I did not realize that if I went down from that particular package that I was on, there's a lot more expenses that come. Well, I ended up for two months paying more money than my premium was if I would have just kept the dang premium in the first place. Now, most people would be mad about that. And don't get me wrong, I got mad about it for a half a second. But then I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm so grateful to have had that, that um, insurance, that plan that I had before. So I emailed them, got back on the same insurance plan. And the, and the whole time I've been like, wow, I'm really just prepaying all these medical bills I would have paid anyways, but actually I'm paying less than I, I would have downgraded the plan. So I got to, it's happened to me like it happened to you. I was like, wow, this is, I'm so grateful to have this. This is amazing. Like my whole mindset around it changed. Now, like every month when I pay it, I'm like, good, doesn't even, don't even worry about it. I'm like, okay, yep. I'm feeling covered. I'm feeling good. I'm prepaying all this stuff. My, my bills are going down to not very much anymore with it. So yeah. It's a very unique experience to have, but by taking the opportunity to reframe your mindset around something is really, really important because it does reset your money house from where you currently are today. And I would like to point out that another thing to do if you're not in the live coaching class um, and you're not going to be doing that with me this week. Another thing to do would be to go back to the spiritual identity podcast, uh, because seeing your financial situation and seeing yourself from a different point of view, like, I mean, we could do it with you for fun. Um, if you, yeah, I like you to be with the bit, guinea pig. If you were to see yourself financially from where you are currently at, from a financial standpoint, taking on that car payment would be silly if you were to be talking to yourself and saying, I don't know if I can afford it. Would it not? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your honesty. I mean, it seems. So then you realize it's not an actual money issue. It's a perspective issue. It's yeah, a well, it's a mindset it's, thing. Yeah, it's a it's not just a mindset though. It's a frequency issue. And we need to if you're a manifester, if you are a spiritual abundance um you know, person, if you want to clear blocks within your energetic system, working on these things is incredibly incredibly important. It's so important. I cannot even tell you because we cause our own blocks. The blocks don't just happen. You are literally the sole owner and the positioner and the maintainer of all energetic blocks within your emotional and energetic and spiritual body. You're the one. That's it. Doesn't matter who did what to you. Doesn't matter where you grew up. Doesn't matter anybody's outside influence. You control it. You are the wizard behind the, what's the Wizard of Oz thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, behind the curtain. You're the guy. You're the woman. You're the person. And it takes a lot of knowledge and maintenance and referencing and awareness to watch for these and get the opportunity to remove the blocks and to work on those, you know, to be spiritually and energetically cleaning your house all the time, it takes awareness and it takes opportunities like we're having right now 
to help maintain your, um, you know, your clarity and to remove blocks and to move forward and to stay in a frequency that is just a high vibe frequency and filled with opportunity and filled with abundance and filled with all the good things that we want. It helps our quality of life. So there will be other past energy influences, by the way, not just money. Money's going to be a biggie this um, July, August. It's going to be very roller coaster ish. But if you also have any other things that you're like, why have I thought about this? Why have I thought about this experience? Why have I thought about this person, this time frame? Why does why does this keep coming up for me? You can thank the universe for giving you the opportunity <laughs> to reframe and readjust that trauma point within your energetic field so that you can move forward in a better clean slate in a higher frequency. It's important. You are the only one that can do that. A lot of people I think want to go to like healers or different people and go like, yeah, uh, spin my chakras, clear myself, do all the things that you do. And like, I want to feel good. There is a lot of internal work that needs to be done there. You need to understand it. When you understand it, everything clicks, everything starts to move. Blockages get removed. Very, very important. Anything that you would like to add? I don't know. I, you know, I was just thinking, you know, as you were talking, like, even though like all of that is a lot of internal work that we need to do, I think mm -hmm. it's very important to be like, be happy that it you are in the driver's seat, really, because yes. you know mm -hmm. that you can fix, you know, if that's the word I want to use, um, the, the problems try. and the issues and the, the yeah. things that you're, you're feeling, because, you know, I know how I was feeling what a little over a year ago when I was just at the end of my rope and I, I just was just not in a good place. And through the work that we've done, you know, I'm, I'm so much better. I'm yes. so much better. And it's, it's just a lot of things that I had to address and work through. And now I feel like I am kind of, you know, I'm on the other side and I've learned so much. And so yes. you should be grateful. So it's like, even if you are in a place where you're not feeling great and you're kind of struggling, you should be so hopeful in knowing that you have the ability to work. Oh, absolutely. You. Absolutely. And that is a powerful feeling when you learn about how to do that and you learn of that and you have the knowledge and you start gaining the awareness it's super powerful so um anyways hopefully you found that helpful um hopefully there will not be any more energy updates <laughs> breaking lot. news emergency right? update. No breaking news. <laughs> um but i just want to leave you with if you would like to um you know join us for the uh meditation the the new, the other class that we're going to be having this month on the live coaching, go to empath university or the app, make sure that you join the membership, not the free plan. And, um, also, uh, if you want help with the energy blockages, the energy stuff and healing work or mentorship, because that's what I do right now. I'm working with a lot of healers, actually Primarily, my clients are healers, um, and I help to um, mentor their healing abilities and help them to develop that area of what they're doing um, and or business. And me and Michelle are going to be doing a lot more work with healers. And um, as far as like, if you want to do that professionally, you're going to see a lot more of that kind of stuff this year as well. But if you want to do a mentorship with me, you definitely want to go to Keys to the Spirit World if you want to know about the healing work that I've been kind of touching about, touching on. And also I have a book coming out on that this year. Uh, Keys to the Spirit World.com is where you can find that info. You can click on everything from there. And I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Final reminder, if you like today's podcast to make sure you like the video, um, leave any questions or comments uh, that you have below and make sure you're subscribed. Yeah. This energy update was so long. <laughs> it's longer than the other one. <laughs> okay. All right. Until next time, have the most amazing day. Aloha. Bye. Bye.